Hi everyone, it is August 17th, 2024. Hope everyone is doing well. Well folks, I just got in a new prep, right? And I'm sure a lot of people have had this in their life. I've never had this, right? I've never had like, you know, the Chef Boyardee thing. I just never grew up with it. My family, most most of the time, they usually make cooked meals for me, right? Whether it was, uh, you know, uh, chicken or it was a steak or it was uh, just... Uh, you know, a, uh, a fish dish. But most of the time, I didn't have canned food. But the times we're living in right now, guys, I'm going to say this only once. The times that we are living in, I don't know what's ahead, right? And a lot of people have seen my channel, and you know I can make my own spaghetti and meatballs, right? You've seen it on my channel. Many times I've made meatballs from scratch. And they come out really, really good, by the way. But the reason I bought this was for the simple fact that uh, if the power goes out, right, and there's an EMP attack or a hack on the grid or a solar flare or anything for that matter, right? If the uh, power goes out because the, uh, you know, the powers that be decided that they didn't want to build enough power plants and we just have a power outage from a regular power outage, the... Uh, refrigerator and the freezer will not work right so all the meat you have in your fridge and all the meat you have in your freezer will go bad so i decided to have this because i've never had it before the spaghetti and meatballs now i'm going to try it now i don't know how long you have to cook this for uh it says in the microwave pour pasta in a bowl one and a half minutes or until hot okay one and a half minutes so let's get a microwave thing i want to try this out i don't know if i like it right and I'll tell you the honest to God truth, if it's really disgusting, I'm sure it's not going to taste as good as my meatballs and spaghetti, obviously. But I didn't buy it for that. I didn't buy it to replace my meatballs and spaghetti that I make from scratch. I bought it in case of a major event, right? So I have canned spaghetti and meatballs. It says no artificial flavors, no artificial colors, no artificial preservatives. Okay, so I guess it should taste okay. I may have to add some pepper or something. So let me get a bowl that is uh, microwavable. Let me put it to a use. Let's use, now that I cleaned up all my bowls, now that I cleaned up all my bowls, it's so much easier to get to, right? It's so much easier to get to the bowls and the containers when you clean up all the containers in the kitchen, right? Everything has a lid now. So much easier. That was driving me up a freaking wall, by the way. I had so many containers with, with some had lids, some didn't have lids, some I couldn't find, some I didn't want. But anyway, now I have it really nice, the containers. I still have another, I have another, uh, another closet I have to clean, but I'll do that another time. Okay, so this is what it looks like, right? And I think I'll need a spoon for this. Unless it'll come, yeah, we're going to need a spoon for this. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, it looks okay. Just gotta want to get every morsel out of there. Hold on, let me get a let me get a spoon. Let me get a spoon. I'll tell you what this. Well, of course, you're not gonna get giant meatballs. How many meatballs do you get? Should we count them? Why not? Why not count them? It smells pretty good. It smells okay. It's not like horrible smell. It smells like tomato sauce. So we got one baby meatball, two baby, they're really small. Two baby meatballs, three baby meatballs, four. We find five. Five. No, there's another one of five. Four? We only need four? Well, anyway, I found four. Five. I got five. Okay, found a fifth one. Found a fifth one. Five baby meatballs. Okay, so probably these five meatballs would equal to one meatball. These five meatballs, these five meatballs would probably equal one meatball in reality. Okay, let's put this without any further ado, because I didn't want to make this a long video. 
and I'm covering it only because I don't want it splattering all over my microwave, the sauce. So let me rinse this out and I'll be back in a minute and a half. I'll be back. Well, less than a minute and a half, actually. Sausages and chicken. It's like a gumbo, but it's not. It's like a gumbo, but it's not. A minute left. One minute left. Okay. Just in case it needs help. In case it needs help. In case it needs help. You know what I might add to it? We got pepper, we got salt, we got garlic. Just in case it needs help. In case the spaghetti and meatballs needs help, but we don't know if it needs help yet. Let's see if we can. We have all the spices in case it really is very, very nasty and disgusting. There you go. That's all our spaghetti and meatballs dish needs. Garlic, salt, and pepper. doing this because, well, I'm bored and I have nothing better to do for a video. By the way, while I'm uh, mixing this, I want to tell you, last I checked, there were only eight people, eight more subscribers I need before the giveaway, guys. Eight more subs, or maybe less. I haven't checked it since yesterday. Eight more subs until the giveaway. So the quicker I get to 500, the quicker we do the giveaway. What I do with the, I gotta get up again. I was gonna say, what did I do with the spoon? Put it in there. So I'll let you guys know before we do the giveaway. I'll give you like a guys a couple of days in advance. I might even ask you guys, uh, what's the best day? I don't know how you guys are gonna respond. I have to put the comments on maybe that day. Okay, so I'm giving us the best chance it possibly can have. I'm warming it up. I'm stirring it. I'm going to try it right now. I don't want to burn myself. I'm going to try a little bit of pasta with the meatball. God help me. I should say a Jewish prayer right now. It smells, it doesn't smell bad. I mean, it, smell, it smells like tomato sauce. It doesn't smell like rancid or anything. It doesn't smell bad. The sauce is nice and thick. It's not watery. Okay, the first thing, it tastes, it tastes okay. The first thing I got to tell you, and I'll be honest with you, um, I don't know how they decide to make the spaghetti. But for you to get spaghetti this soft, it's like very, very soft spaghetti. Almost like overcooked spaghetti. If you have an overcooked, which is not a bad thing. It doesn't make it like taste terrible. It's just the texture of it, right? The texture of the pasta or the spaghetti very soft, right? Very soft. The meatballs themselves, they're okay. 
I mean, they're not as flavorful as the meatballs that I get. Because when I add meatballs, um, they taste um, a little garlicky. You know, you put a little garlic in them. But um, the meatballs themselves could have been a little bit more uh, flavorful. You know, because obviously they don't put love into it. You know, just probably just put meat together and just make balls and just cook it. But, um, but yeah. It's a good meal. I mean, for a quick meal, if you want to just get a meal together, yes, it's fine. Is it better than homemade meatballs and spaghetti? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Like, you can make spaghetti. It has, like, a much better texture. You know, you can have, like, uh, el dente texture. This is more of a... This is definitely not el dente. <laughs> this is more, like, smushy. <laughs> But it tastes all right. It tastes good. I mean, I didn't buy this for a everyday meal. I bought this. I bought a, I bought eight of them, so I got seven left. I bought this for because they were ninety nine cents a piece, and it's a good prep meal. Okay. So I would say this is pretty okay. I mean, could you add like salt and pepper to this to make it better? Yeah, definitely. Like a little salt. Little pepper, which everyone should have in their house, by the way. Everyone should have salt and pepper. It doesn't taste bad. I don't have an aftertaste in my mouth. I would give this, like, as far as spaghetti and meatballs go, meaning a 10. A 10 would be equal to, like, let's say a homemade meatball spaghetti dish. I'd give this a 6, right? I'd give this a 6. You know what I mean? I mean... I can't really rate this because this is like really low quality meatballs and spaghetti. But, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad for a quick meal. And the only time I would open this probably, other than today because I'm testing it. Tastes much better now. When you add the salt and pepper and the garlic powder, it tastes much better. I would give this a 6 out of 10. Okay, that. Give me a thumbs up. I just thought this would be a good prep item for my cupboard. And the reason I bought it, like I said before, I'm sweating here. The reason I bought it is because I like to have different types of meals in the cupboard. Like spaghetti meatballs, spam, soups, chicken, sardines, tuna. Anything that doesn't need refrigeration, right? I try to keep about... I try to keep between 12 and 24 cans of those items in my cupboard. So in case the shit does hit the fan, uh, I don't have to worry about a uh, power outage, right? I do have stuff in the fridge, though. I mean, I do have, obviously, I have, like, eggs in the fridge. I have butter in the fridge. I have juice in the fridge, and I have milk in the fridge. That's it. Butter, milk, eggs, and juice. That's pretty much the giant water. That's all I have in my fridge, guys. That's it. You know, unless I buy, like, chicken. Unless I buy, like, homemade chicken. You know what I mean? I buy fresh chicken or fresh beef, which you see me make many, 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 many times on my channel. If I make chicken shawarma, or if I make uh, homemade meatballs, I'll buy a pound of beef, or I'll buy a pound of chicken wings, or something like that. But this is okay. Okay, guys, so I'm going to finish this. This is my lunch. I'll catch you guys later. Give me a thumbs up. That's pretty good. And again, I'm about eight away, so uh, the quicker I get to 500, the quicker somebody wins that uh, mini PC. Okay, guys? Catch you later. Stay safe. Stay prepped. World War Three is just around the corner. Bye for now.